Hello, YouTubers! Good afternoon! Um, this is Gina. I'm speaking on behalf of my father. Um, I live in South Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today is December 29th, uh, 2023. We have at least two to three days left uh, before uh, New Year 2024. Just a short message to all of you guys who's, who is viewing this video and to all supports that you've been there for us for the whole throughout the year um, 2023 um, that you guys supporting him and viewing our video um, to help my dad. Thank you so much and thank you to all males and whales. Um, who's supporting the food for my dad. Thank you so much. And also, this organization, I would, I don't know what, what, what would I do without you guys. Um, this has been help, very, very helpful to my dad about giving him food. Um, you know, all of this, uh, I'm sorry guys, excuse me. So, all of this uh, support, guys, um, it means a lot to me. Um, and I know for the past few years, I've been struggling. And um, my dad still had no help. He had a stroke, guys. Um, like I said, we have never had any, uh, we never get any help out there. I tried my best, though. Um, but the important is he's safe, um, he's okay, um, he's alive, we're good, uh, God is good, God is always there for us to help, no matter what, um, you know, I'm in a difficult situation right now that I can't survive, um, I can't even hardly pay for my food, pay my, my, my little tiny house here. Um, I, I have been behind for about almost seven months for my mortgage. Um, so I don't know what else to do now. I'm just waiting, hoping, you know, that someone can share the blessings and uh, help my dad and me to, uh, so that my dad will be safe uh, because I don't want to be homeless. Um, I don't want to be on the street. Um, uh, right now, it's we encountered, we're facing a, a high, you know, a, a, a crisis uh, in the U.S. That um, I can see that on the documentary that there is a lot of homeless people around in this country, and it's hard, you know. I I feel, I feel, I feel pain, you know, uh, to watch those people because me as a person, like being alone, is not easy. And I don't have any help here. I don't get any, like I said, we don't have any family and friends here that I can talk to daily basis if I need help. Um, the government is not even like, I don't know, they tried, they're giving me advice, good advice, but they are not here physically. They're not helping me physically. Even though I call 911 or I talk to on the phone, whoever, it's just, not there you know what i mean it's just like they're giving you virtually just to talk that you will be fine you will be good god will help you will provide you and god will provide you and you know take care of you like i just need a physical help you know and i know some good words out there or sympathy that telling me this 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 and that like you will be fine i'm not fine i'm not okay um i don't know what else to say guys um i've been trying hard to reach out to uh people out there that you know work in the government or posting on this youtube and even posting on tiktok I just don't get any help, guys. So, I know it's so... Uh, I'm grieving right now. Um, we don't have food. Like I said, I might look like this is like a good house here, but my house is so tiny. 
I'm trying to use my brain to be smart, like not to get eviction uh, because my job doesn't pay me well enough to survive. Like I don't get paid that much. Like they only pay me enough to buy like small food, but the food is so high right now. They're all expensive. So um, everything is everything is expensive. So yeah, thank you to all of these males and whales guys who supported us. Um, what else? My father is having an interview uh, on January 2nd of 2024. Uh, at 945 at USCIS so um, he has a medical disability certification exemptions so that means he doesn't need to take any uh, civic exam or any requirements out there that need to be answered because he cannot obviously he had a stroke so he cannot answer all those questions and unable to communicate well you know back and forth because he had a stroke so um they're giving him an opportunity to not to get an you know like not to have any other hassles out there because i will be bringing him by myself alone um he's gonna ride a wheelchair and i have to talk to to the officer uscis to help me out and explain uh that my dad condition cannot you know like i hope that they consider that because i would be miserable if they don't help my dad um i would be very sad if they don't help my dad um what else so yeah um right now status of my dad um he's gonna get a citizenship uh soon um he has an interview on january 2nd like i said and then after that he's gonna get um an old taking so what else to discuss my christmas was okay um all these years been struggling you know my job and my work you know like about my job and just back and forth and it just how i live here in the u.s it's just a struggle um yeah pretty much like it's just for me and my dad here nothing else to talk nothing new exciting i guess um i have a lo lot of bad news like but i'm always happy no matter what like you just had to put that negative aside and just pray all you have to do is pray to god because prayers are very powerful they can help you guys you know god will look out for you and whatever the how you feel because there's a lot of negative people out there, you know, and anywhere I go, there are always people like that, you know, like even you are in the public, even, even, you know, like if you are at work, you know, or anywhere you go, um, there are always negative people that treat you badly, you know, treat you miserably, you know, um, we just have to pray those people, you know, because at the end, at the end there's no there's no forever in this world we're all gonna be disappeared you know we, this is this, this is not our body and our soul is not gonna last longer the important is inside of you and you are good in and out uh, the important is you are very humble to people and very nice to people that you are connecting you're good no matter how problem facing you know like i'm facing with problems right now um i'm still smiling even though the reality i have a lot of problems but all those people that negative you know either you are at work or either you are at home like i mean i'm i'm, I'm by myself here but like in the public or you're at work if there is any negative people that you work with, just pray, pray to them, you know, um, because like I said, there's no forever, honey, you know, we're all going to get older and no matter what, just have faith in God, pray to those people and that's it. There's no, at the end of our life, there's no going back, you know, we are all have debts. You know what is debts? 
we are all gonna die guys we are so just be humble to people and all those people that doesn't believe in god even though you don't celebrate christmas you know or anything like that just pray to those people you know because you know at the end like i said you know we are we are not gonna be here in this world you know whatever our inside of our body when we die we just go somewhere out there after death i don't know what lives after death do you do you know what life after death no nobody knows that so me as a person i've always been nice i'm always pray to god like please lord stay please take me away from those negative people please lord save me you know and pray to god and god will guide you through and put you to the safe place and god will will guide you and walk you through that bring you to the happy place and uh the place that you know that you will not gonna there's not gonna there's no nobody that gonna be negative with you you know it's just right now i'm struggling because my body like i said i you know we're just living in this world um we're still alive we have using money and using food and all these items all all of this everything things everything things money you know all these things is gonna be disappeared we're not gonna bring this to the other side of the world after our after our death you know we're not gonna bring all this you know wealth money even if you have money even though the important is just think about it your personality is very important okay I don't know if you guys believe in hell or heaven, but I do. I do. I'm Christian. And I do believe a heaven and hell. So, if I'm surrounding with those people that doesn't believe in heaven and hell, if they're atheists, whatever, uh, other religions out there, it's okay. You know, it's, uh, it's on them. Because you can't judge people like that. If people doesn't believe in Christmas, doesn't believe in holidays, you know, if they're not happy people, just God will guide them through. And God will eventually going to help them at the end of their lives because we are all going to go in there no matter what. Whoever you are, even if how, there's no age limit. Even you are from below, you know, like how age you are older teenager younger whatever we are all going through there trust me we are all it's gonna it's gonna come it's going to come and they don't realize that you know and some people they don't realize like who cares i'm a mean person i'm you know whatever it just we just have to pray to those people okay you know, like I encountered some people like people that doesn't talk to me, right? Some people like that, like people doesn't care about me. People doesn't, it's okay. Accept what the reality that God's challenge you. Accept what God's challenge you. And you have to accept that challenge. And no one can change you, right? So no one can change you, your personality, be strong, right? Be smart. Be strong. Be brave. Pray to God. And everything will be fine. You know? And, and, and I know, I know a lot of people telling me like, oh, you know, and it's okay. I'm surrounding with, sometimes, I'm surrounding with negative people. It's not even sometimes, like almost every day. Even I'm, I'm at work or anywhere I go, I'm surrounding those people. But you gotta have to be brave. You have to be strong. You have to be smart. Pray. Prayer is a very powerful. And I don't know if you understand me or not. Prayers 
It's a very powerful. People, some people like that that has negativity, negativity, they don't pray to God. They don't believe in God. You know, it's okay. It's okay. Do you believe in karma though? I do believe in karma. I do believe in karma. Karma is a bitch. I'm sorry to say this, but karma is a bitch. You know, I do believe in karma. But to avoid getting karma, just be nice to people. I think God God will, will protect you from not getting a bad karma. You know what I'm saying? Then if you are a good person, you will get a good karma though. Not a bad karma. You know what I mean? So just be brave. You know, just ignore those negative people. That's all my advice, guys. You know, right now, I'm dealing with my dad right now. I'm very happy and excited about his citizenship. And second of all, I'm excited that 2024 will be a better year. And I know, I know, I know how you feel right now. There's a lot of people struggling financially. There's people like, you know, uh, homeless people. Pray. Pray to those people. And if I have money, I would donate. But I don't have money, guys. Unfortunately. YouTube doesn't pay me. Google doesn't pay me. I don't get nothing. Zero. My Google AdSense is zero. They don't... I don't know how they... You don't know. I'm a real person. So I don't know. Like right now, I don't care about money. Okay? This is not... I, I need money. I need help. But if they don't give you money or help you, that's fine. It's okay. Because at the end, like I said, guys... Whoever rich you are, rich, I'm talking about rich, whoever rich you are, whoever entrepreneur you are, businesswoman, businessman, we cannot bring this money. Amen? We cannot. At the end of our death, the death, when we come, that's it. Our body is not going to be exist anymore. But our soul, our spirit, our soul inside of our body there's two that they're going to go. Either they're going to go to the hell, they're going to go to the heaven. Amen? Believe me? Because this is the reality. I'm talking the reality here. This is not. you got to be humble. you got to be strong. Just pray to those people. Pray. There's nothing you can do. If there's something negative, people that doesn't talk to you all day, sure, it's okay. It's fine. You know, um... I encountered some people that doesn't appreciate me. I had that I had that experience that whatever I do it just doesn't appreciate me, guys, but like I said pray to those people. Like it's something like I don't know. Um I have a story, guys, to tell. Okay, this is just a scenario to tell. Well, it's a real scenario actually. Um I never encountered this before an experience, right? Um, I encountered this person, you know, that like every day, you know, uh, this is just my, uh, you know, experience that, you know, with, with the normal things that you talk, daily basis, you know, the conversation like, hey, hi, good morning. And that person doesn't talk to me back. And I opened the door and that person didn't say, didn't say thank you to me. And um, what else? Like there's other, this is just a scenario guys. And then um, I shoveled the snow. I, there, I had a lot of experience for that. I shoveled the snow that I didn't receive any thank you, you know, and I help some older people. I clean the house. I don't get appreciated. I don't get any appreciate. Like they don't appreciate what I did to them. But there's no, I, like I said, I am not complaining. This is nothing to do about you and me. I, I was not complaining. There's something that like if you encounter those people like that, just pray. You just have to pray. I just cling all these people to God because God will handle this. Amen? God will handle all of this. You know, everything, all of these problems that I encounter, these people that has negative, negativity, 
racist people that doesn't like Asian because I'm from Philippines. Some people are racist, they don't like me. So, um, you know, they treat me badly. You know, they think that they are more powerful than me. Come on, only God, there's nothing, there's no powerful in this world, only God. No one is, to be honest, no one is above the law. <laughs> That's what they say, no one is above the law. Um, nobody is above the law or whatever. Um, it's just God. God is always there. Um, you know, God is always number one. There's no powerful over you. No one can control you. No one can tell you what to do. You should not be getting these negative people and asking you like, oh, and they don't talk to you because they think they're over you. They think like they are overpowered. And, oh, yeah, this Asian just came over here and I don't understand. Like, hey, don't you understand I wasn't, I was not born in the U.S.? And, oh, I don't speak in English much because she doesn't understand me or he doesn't understand me. Oh, like, I don't talk to her because she doesn't understand me and they lock me down, blah, blah, blah. Like, oh, because don't you understand that if I'm not fluent enough, to express my thoughts you gotta have to be smart and understand that i was not born in the u.s okay so you gotta have to learn how to communicate foreign people you need to learn to communicate and to understand that there's some people out there are not the same as you are okay so don't compare people that not from here that doesn't speak in english that you don't understand about you know how she speak to you and how like she having conversation with you you don't have to be judgmental i i i, I encounter that every day guys in my life like anywhere i go either, either i work i go to work or i the, these people are always think about bad like oh this woman right here blah 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 and she feels like she is very important right she feels like okay i'm a queen come on please wake up wake up people this is not this is united states we live in this country freedom you know that guys and i know i i'm american citizen I'm a dual citizen, guys. I'm a Philippine citizen and a United States of America citizen. And my father is about to get a citizenship. Okay? So these people I encountered to me, like me, that I encountered, they treat me so badly. It's like, oh, I don't want to talk to her because I don't understand her English and I don't understand what she's talking about. Okay, girl, you need to learn how to communicate people from other country too because if you are in my country if i speak my dialect would you understand me no because you are from the u.s and because you don't understand in visaya then you, you can just shut up right okay i'm being nice guys i'm sorry but please these people are so judgmental these people are doesn't know how to communicate people and even though they, they don't talk to me that's fine my stomach's not gonna hurt she doesn't talk to me or if he doesn't talk to me my stomach's not gonna hurt all year round because for me i'm a happy person it's not gonna affect my personality this is me who i am i'm a very happy person i'm sorry you know i, I cannot say a bitch to you or whatever i cannot say bad words to you because i'm a you know like i said i'm holding my anger i don't want to be angry to people i don't want to be angry i don't want to be you know and confront because i don't like arguments all i want to ask is to be nice to people learn to be nice to people learn to uh, to be appreciated to people because these people are so judgmental these people like tell they think of me like oh yeah she's poor i'm rich i can do i can control her come on lady even if you have money, you're not going to bring that money when you die, right? So please, don't, don't, I'm just being honest, guys. But these people are so judgmental and they think over me. They think that they're so more powerful over me. And oh, yeah, you know, she's not from here and she is naive. She doesn't know what she's doing. 
lady i've been researched online lady okay before i came over here so please don't judge me you don't know me who i am so please so all you have to do just be nice to people because when you die no there's no no one friends or family gonna approach your death because we die individually okay so please be nice to people because god is waiting for you honey god is there for you you know we're gonna wait at the end of our death either you can go to the hell and go to the heaven that's it that's it it's only two places you cannot bring your money once again you cannot bring your wealth you cannot bring your friends to you when you die amen okay so i'm i'm telling the truth guys i'm here to please asking nicely don't be mean to people either you are at work either you are be smile be happy be gum bubbly and happy because i'm a happy person you know maybe like i'm a very timid i'm very timid at work i don't i don't talk but i'm observing people i'm a very big observer guys i know who is fake i know who is real to me you know so that's why 